I guess it's quite, it's quite easily accessible for people as well, so it's centralised to Coventry. People know where the library actually is as well. And what's nice is you get the support of the staff. Um, so if you are confused about where the actual books and prescriptions section actually is, staff here will more than happily come and help you out with that. Um, it's just a comfortable place to come and sit as well. There is coffee um, and tea facilities, so you can kind of sit down. Um, in a quiet space as well where you can take your time to actually look through the books and work your way through them. Um, it's a nice little seated area um, and it, yeah, as I said it does tend to be quite pretty quiet so you don't really find yourself getting distracted by a lot of things and if you're outside of sort of the home environment as well you're probably more likely to focus on some of the books because um, when you're at home you've got sort of a lot of things going on you've got a lot of distractions as well so it's quite nice just to get yourself out of the environment of being at home or away from the stress so you can actually focus on working your way through the books. Well, in the health and wellbeing zone there's an, an audio section, so there's lots of different self-help materials that have been put on um, sort of audio CDs, so um, slightly different to some of the books but still covering the same topics, low mood, anxiety, worry, things like that, so people that maybe struggle to read um, or have visual problems can, can listen to those, but also just generally sometimes people prefer listening rather than reading through a book, so um, yeah there's a whole sort of section on that as well that people can access. I think the benefits are that it gives people sort of control of their own treatment really. People feel like they're part of the process. Um, it's something they can do and implement in their own time. Um, but they can pick bits out that they think are more relevant to them as well. Um, the books are really helpful. They go through sort of step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to manage their symptoms. But sometimes people would rather just sort of pick bits out and find bits that sort of specifically apply to them. So um, I think that's really helpful. Um, the other big problem is um, people want self-help books, but there's so many out there you don't know where, where to start. So these self-help books have been um, accredited by... Um, a British um, Association for Cognitive Behavioural Therapists, so they've all been checked out and, and endorsed by them, as well as sort of the Association for, for GPs as well. So um, we know that they're, they're books that people have been found quite helpful, and because they use a cognitive behavioural approach, we know that's got the biggest evidence base for managing depression and low mood. So um, they've all been checked out and, and worked really well. So it just gives people an idea of, of where to start, really. Alternatively, we run a drop-in session. So that's on every Thursday afternoon from two o'clock till four o'clock. So two of our practitioners from IAPS will literally be sat in the middle of the library and it's a drop-in so anyone is free to approach us so we tell them a little bit more about the service what kind of things we can offer we normally give them a leaflet as well with our number on so they can contact us and then we do also have some of the sort of mood boosting books we also have some of the um, self-help books out on the table as well so people can have a look through them and then we generally let people know about the section in the library where they can actually get these books themselves and if it's something that they're interested in then they can get in contact with us if they feel that they do need that one-to-one -one support.